China says it's still holding out hope that Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un will sit down and talk face to face. Both the President of the United States and the DPRK leader have left room for each other to maneuver. U.S. officials on Friday suggested a historic summit scheduled for next month might still happen, just 24 hours after President Trump announced he's out. Wang Qishan, the Chinese vice president, was speaking at an economic forum in Russia on Friday. Also on stage, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. After initially saying he supported Trump's decision, Abe said world leaders should do everything they can to help ensure the talks take place. But dialogue for the sake of dialogue, he said, is pointless. France, China and of course the United States and people around the world, we would like them to work together to push the DPRK in the right direction. In order to do that, we must work together and tackle this problem the DPRK poses. Abe also warned world players against making long-term partnerships with Pyongyang before it meets certain conditions. The event's host was Russian President Vladimir Putin, who on Thursday defended Kim, saying the DPRK leader, quote, did everything he promised in advance. Meanwhile, in Vienna, South Korea's Prime Minister Lee nak yeon told his Austrian host he was regretful that the June 12th meeting won't happen. I am not being pessimistic about it and still have hope. I believe we should revive the historic opportunity for denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. An optimism also echoed in Beijing. We strongly hope that both the DPRK and the U.S. can cherish the recent positive progress, stay patient, demonstrate goodwill, and move in the same direction. Rui Rettenberg, CGTN.